If you're thinking about Mexican cuisine, we have just the place for you to try. This morning, we are joined by co-owner Nancy Lopez Diaz and also Joel Ramirez Lopez of El Perion Hospitality. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Of course. Uh, I don't know if you at home can hear the, the crackling of the grill here, the smell. Is amazing. Now, Joelle's busy cooking. I'm going right. to ask you some questions. So, Nancy, tell us what are we making right here? So, right here, we're making a mocajete. It's a traditional dish all over Mexico. We actually cook grilled steak, grilled chicken, um, grilled veggies, nopales, which is cactus, and then grilled onions, chorizo, um, jalapenos, and grilled cheese. And we actually mount it right on top of a hard rock of, that we use in Mexico. Usually, we use it for salsas or to even grind certain grains. And it's topped inside and we put quesadillas on the side. And they usually come with rice and beans and guacamole and pico de gallo. And this is for one person? Uh, usually one person or two. I was gonna say, that is huge. It is, it's a very meaty you platter. Won't, you won't go away hungry after no, that. No, of course not. You, you ate, you had dinner, you had breakfast and everything on one whole plate. Okay, so Nancy, you confirmed what I thought. You mentioned he's cooking cactus, right? Correct. So that the, uh, this is funny that you're here because I actually went to Mexico City for the first time oh, last really? month. I loved it and it was the first time that I ever had this in a taco and I didn't know what I was eating and then I realized what I was eating and I was like, this is really good. You refer to it as nopales? Nopales. And, yes. and, and where would we normally see that? Uh, you can see it in any uh, Mexican store or any store. I've seen them on Myers and everything. Usually on the aisle where they have all the fresh vegetables and your peppers and things like that. Um, it's a very traditional thing. I mean, we eat beans with it, rice, or just grilled on top with a little bit of lime and salt and a tortilla. And The texture for me is what makes it so Correct. great for any dish. Yes, and it's very healthy as yeah. well too. I want to talk a little bit about how you guys got started. You actually started with a food truck. Talk to yes, me about correct. your journey. So we started with one food truck, and from there on, like, every year we kept adding another food truck. So we're at five food trucks and right now three restaurants at the moment. So El Perion Hospitality, you guys have some events coming up next month. Tell me about correct. those. We usually have events every month, and um, the next coming month we have an event for Lottery Night, which is... Noche de Loteria, which is almost similar to bingo, but instead of numbers, we use pictures. And uh, what we do is in each card, we put a shot of, of anything. And once you get that card, you take that shot. And usually our platters start with a flight of tequila, a family style di dinner, and then a couple of drinks. Tequila flights. I, right. I am all for that. Yes, of course. We all need a tequila flight. Yeah, absolutely. Especially on game day, right? right. Especially Correct. on game day. That calls for tequila. You want to get, get in the mood. So we talked about this beautiful dish, which definitely, I think, can feed one or two people. What else are some big sellers there? Uh, we have the fajitas, our enchiladas. Um, we actually have, in one of our locations, we actually have an actual taco stand, like you find them in Mexico in every corner, where we have different variety of meats that you usually don't see here. Um, what, what kind of meat varieties do uh, you so offer that maybe you, you wouldn't see it in other restaurants? We have suadero, which is um, almost like a beef brisket. Okay. And buche, which is actually the lining of the stomach. And it's actually cooked inside a whole case. And and that's really flavorful, right? It is, Luche it is. Tacos. Oh, yes, yeah. Luche tacos is, I mean, you really, it's really good. It intimidates me when you hear it, because, you know, a lot of people maybe haven't had that. But um, I, I did try it, and I found it to be delightful. I, there was a ton of flavor packed yes. in there. It is, it is. You get, you get flavors of all the meats that is actually cooking in the caso. So it, it brings out, and you're like, wait a minute, it's not that bad. You yeah. know, it's actually pretty good. Now, Joel is hard at work here. He's browning up uh, not only the cactus, but are those leeks that I see in there as well with the jalapenos? Yes, those are leeks. And then um, the, it's something that we usually use to decorate, and of course, they're really good. And then this is chorizo. Well, the leek is the chorizo. And, and, and then all of that will go into this Correct. dish. Mm -hmm. um, for, for game day, are you guys uh, anticipating people coming by to grab Hopefully, one of these? Yes, of, of game? course. I mean, you can feed two people with this, and it's only $25. And you get your rice, beans, tortillas, um, and hopefully we do get a crowd for game day and for Halloween as well. Before we let both of you go and before we dive into some of this, which I'm going to do in a moment, can you tell our viewers where they can go for more information? Um, you guys could all go to our Facebook page in Parian, or you can even check us out. Our address is 1633 Londo, Detroit, Michigan, 48209. And um, on our Facebook page, you can find all our locations. 
Nancy Lopez Diaz and Joel. Thank you so much thank for you, working man. hard on the grill for thank us. You. Thank you for showcasing all of this delicious food. We appreciate you. you taking the time. Thank you for inviting us, and I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Absolutely, you too.